Do you want to record your screen, your browser window, your tabs very easily with just a simple browser extension? Or maybe you're having regular Slack conversations and you want to send quick embeddable just video responses to your business partners without having to set up complex software or upload videos to YouTube like I'm doing or anything like that. We're going to be checking out a free browser extension called Loom and seeing if it's the solution for you right after this. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. I'm Evil's Vox here to make tech easier and more fun and this is the Loom video recorder, screen recorder, within Chrome. It is a Chrome browser extension that allows you to record your screen but primarily record your browser tabs and I wanted to review it here. I've had a lot of requests to check out both free screen recording programs and browser extensions. You can't even see the numbers I'm doing here. Uh, and this is a good intersection and I feel like I can spit it out quicker if I do it in a kind of rapid fire format like this. And of course, I'm recording on my MacBook here so the audio is going to be a bit iffy. I wanted to showcase what it can do. So you install the browser extension as always. You have to log into your Google account and then answer some questions about your intended use case just so they have some user data to work with, I guess. Nothing too invasive or privacy problematic, anything like that. It's literally just like is this for personal or work? What do you plan on recording? And it's just super vague stuff. Easy. Then you click on the button in your browser little hotbar of extensions. And if you're like me, there's a lot. <laughs> on my main PC, it actually moved it to the hidden shortcuts. Uh, and then you set up your camera choice, your microphone choice, if you wish to use that at all. Whether or not you're recording just the browser tab or your full screen. And uh, you, there's a couple advanced options in far, as far as uh, your webcam size, you can make it real big like this one is, or you can make it real small in the corner. Actually, we might be able to adjust that on the fly here. Yeah, I can make it really small, and then we can scroll through Twitter here. Fairly straightforward, and then I can go back and make it big, and make it big, and we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation for its intended purpose, because you get to record your screen, your screen with your face, or just your face for its intended purpose, and it is very heavily trying to leverage the, the Slack integration. Um, and you can even sign up for notifications if people comment on it, embed it straight into Slack, things like that. This is clearly a built for purpose thing, not a general applicable tool. For what it is, it's not bad. It, it, it probably serves this purpose very well. But when it was introduced to me in one of those generic 10 browser extensions you should try, and they're like, yeah, it's great for tutorials. I question if they used it because it's not very good. <laughs> I don't know how it will be shown in this video, but sometimes the frame rate gets really hiccup hiccuped. I mean, the browser it, it, it's a browser extension. And with that, there are some inherent limitations in terms of the processing power it can access and harness in terms of what it can record. Because if I switch tabs, the video will cut out, my microphone will cut out, and it has to re-throw the webcam onto the tab. Here, I'm gonna do that right now. That was a whole process, so you can't, you honestly can't really use this for full tutorials because it's not made for switching windows. And actually, I haven't even tested, I should have tested that. What happens if I pull up a window in front of it, it probably doesn't even, I mean, it might record it, but it's going to be a little weird. It is meant to be contained within Chrome and to be used for more of like a response or quickly showing you something on a website thing, not a full formal tutorial. This is also, of course, shown in the hyper compressed nature of the final footage. What you're looking at is not going to look very good at all. It's not, it's just not. It is super compressed, the file sizes are really small, it uploads straight to their website instead of giving you a file by default. Uh, that way you can, and it automatically copies the share URL, so that way you can share it on the variety of platforms they want you to use, which is pretty much Slack. Their website is very weird, like I can't even access all of it. And even just loading a new page on this site here changes or you know gets rid of my webcam and things like that and so eh. yeah see on their getting started list push notifications and slack integration but if you really just need to record something super quick super simple shove it to a friend might be worth your time otherwise i would use a more formal desktop recording option now i did test this on both my MacBook here and my full desktop PC with an external camera via the cam link and my main microphone, the Electro Voice RE20 running through my mixer and everything. 
Worked fine with the cam link. It detected all of my capture cards and everything. Like you, it detected that for the face. But despite running a an analog line in that everything recognizes, it did not record any audio with my microphone for that test. I was actually going to use that to record this review, which is why the audio is crap here. It didn't record any audio at all. So your results may vary depending on your input device. On their actual site and video manager, you can sort your videos into folders and public folders. You can star specific videos. You can share that. It, it can show who you've shared it with in Slack. You can give it a title. You can type in some notes for a description. You can add a link to the website or tab that you were actually recording and it automatically picks that up and it automatically names it based on the tab you were on just by default, which is kind of handy. And people can leave comments and they can add reaction emojis at specific, uh, I realize emoji is plural, reaction emoji at specific points in the video, which is kind of neat. Little extra features you have there. And then after a small period of time, they do give you the option to download the footage, which is what I've used to produce this video. Just wanted to provide a quick review, assuming this recording even saves at all, of this extension here. Again, this is called Loom Recorder for Chrome. Link to it will be in the description down below. If you have a specific use case where you think it might be interesting or worth using, do let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss. I'm curious to hear, or if you use it already. Otherwise, hit the like button if you found this helpful or enjoyable. Subscribe for more awesome tech content. Let me know what other browsers you or screen recorders you'd like to see me take a look at, and I'll see you next time.